Okay guys, in this video, I will discuss about when you have to use a full stiffener and when you need to use a half stiffener or intermediate stiffener. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. So at the very first, if you are a beginner and first time listening this term that is stiffener, okay, then definitely one question will arise in your mind that what is stiffener and why we need to use stiffener, okay. So for you, you know that if you consider any simply supported beam, you apply some load and under the action of this load, simply the beam will deflect. Very simple and very basic, okay. Now let's say you are using some universal beam section or I section or wide flange section, whatever you may call it, okay, as this beam member, okay. So this is the flange, this is the flange of the beam and this is the wave part, right. Here is the load, here is the load, here is the load and these are the support, okay, very simple thing. And once you have applied this load, there will be some reaction very clear now just consider this particular zone okay under this externally applied load and this internal reaction force what will happen in this zone okay so let's consider so we have cut it out we have considered this particular zone and as we have used i section or wide flange section or a built up section okay so this is the external load and this is the reaction force okay so you can see here that this particular web part okay so this is the web part and this web part is actually being held by these flanges okay so we can consider that this web part is actually acting like a column okay and this column is subjected to a compressive load we are trying to press this column inwardly and as a result what will happen simply you know that if you have any column and if you apply any external load what will happen the column tends to buckle so here this column has buckled okay so this column is nothing but this wave part has buckled under this action of axial load right so to resist this buckling of the web what you have to do simply you have to put some strengthening plate like this or some lateral support to resist this buckling okay so if you simply let's say you are holding this web here by your hand what will happen definitely it will not buckle here rather it would buckle somewhere else so throughout this depth or throughout the length of this column you have to provide the lateral support which is known as stiffener okay so here you can see in the both side of this wave or the column we have provided this stiffener okay and this is the support reaction this is the externally applied load so you have got the idea when we have to use the full depth stiffener and also there is another case where you need to use the full depth stiffener let's discuss just consider this zone okay so due to this externally applied load and reaction in this zone you will have some shear force acting like this and the complementary shear force is acting like this okay so here you can see that this is the resultant force or tensile force and this is the resultant compressive force so this resultant compressive force again trying to buckle this intermediate part okay so just like the previous case here also we will provide some lateral support in the form of a stiffener so let's say now we are providing the stiffener like this so it will not buckle anymore so finally due to this shear force and this reaction and externally force we have applied the full depth stiffener and if you consider any real life girder there you can see that these are the stiffener this one has been applied for reaction force and these ones are for shear force got it so 
when we need to use the half depth stiffener or the intermediate stiffener yes so consider one more case okay so now we have already discussed about this supporting zone about this intermediate zone now consider about this particular zone where there is no such support at this bottom but we have externally applied load at the top got it so now again cut out the section and the section looks like this but here you can see there is no such support or reactive force from bottom only we have load at the top now how this wave will behave well before discussing about that just discuss a little bit about the anatomy of i section okay so what's that so you know that this is the flange and this is the wave very simple but the transition from this flange to this wave has a very peculiar shape here you can see that this is the bottom of flange and actually the width of wave is constant from this zone from this level onwards the width of the wave is constant so in between this that means from this constant width to the bottom of this flange here you can see we have a curve okay which is known as root radius okay this radius is known as root radius and this is the root of the i section so now if we have a load acting like this okay so which part is most critical of course here you can see the width of the flange is much compared to this width of wave and also here you can see that this width from this zone to this zone is gradually decreasing right and this is minimum at this location so definitely as soon as this load reach to this particular point it tends to destroy this weaker zone how just like this okay here you can see that load has successfully traveled from this top of flange to this bottom of root after that once it has reached the weaker section or the fixed width of wave part it has destroyed this wave it has not weighted up to this point okay as soon as the thickness of the wave has reduced it has destroyed it and this phenomenon is known as crippling of wave okay so where you have a concentrated load but at the bottom there is no such support in that case it is very much possible that the wave will be crippled just below the flange so in this case what you have to do you can provide the stiffener but the stiffener is only needed for this much depth okay because this much depth is most critical okay after that there is no such chance for crippling that is why in this cases we will provide the intermediate stiffener or this half depth stiffener here you can see that this stiffener has not been provided for the whole depth okay the bottom is clear so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it